Next in the den, a husband and wife from Crofton, BC, who hope the dragons will go wild for their growing business. Hi Dragons, I'm Eric Whitehead. And I'm Michelle Whitehead. And we're from Vancouver Island, British Columbia. Our company is Untamed Feast. And we're here to ask you guys today for $65,000 in exchange for 20% of our business. At Untamed Feast, we harvest, distribute, and promote gourmet wild food. We currently have nine retail gourmet wild mushroom products, three of which you're about to sample. But before we get into that, we want to show you guys a quick glimpse into our brand and how we expose our customers to the adventure behind the product. Because this isn't just another gourmet food. This is an untamed feast. Hi there. <laughs> Today we're harvesting the elusive King Belitis. Oh, guys, this is great. Hard as rock, you hear that? Yeah. It's steep country, there's bears, wildlife. Oh, <laughs> bugs are intense today. Look at my hand here. <laughs> look at that. Look at this. Mila, look, I found it. I got it. Ah, mushroom. <laughs> I love being able to get this amazing food into your homes in the form of a package that you can enjoy. And that this maybe even starts to change the way you eat. Well that's done. fantastic. Wow. Very, very Survivor well man. done. Thank you. And that's a big part of the brand, you guys. We've got uh, 100,000 views on YouTube. We've got 100 videos out there, all on our website. So the brand is also about, oh, where does my food come from? OK, Dragon, so we've got three samples for you. The first is going to be our no stir porcini risotto. This is our first line that's in stores. Every one of them harvested from the wild. Absolutely. We're talking about morels. The Untamed Feast line of products includes bags of dried wild mushrooms, as well as a variety of mushroom-infused side dishes. We've also got a morel cream sauce on pasta. And then the last sample you're going to have is a cheese spread made with our chanterelles. Really good, yeah. That risotto's really good. Wow. The bags of mushrooms cost between $15 and $20 and are sold in about 100 gourmet and specialty food stores across Western Canada. This is some of my favorite food I've eaten on the day. Awesome. It's excellent. No question, damn good, really good. Are you going to be able to supply all the mushrooms? Like, if, if this got <laughs> crazy. Question. <laughs> Great question. Are you going to be out okay. there with the stacks? And you know, the for the last 15 years in the industry, we've got a very well-established group of harvesters in our network. We can meet demand. We've grown tenfold since we started in this business. But the answer to my question is, you will be able to supply massive will. demand? There's one and a half billion acres of boreal forest in Canada. It's open for harvesting. Last year, we took 14 guys on our crew to the Northwest Territories for 40 days. You go wherever harvest. you need to we go. We travel all over. Our commercial dryer is a portable unit. Do you dry it there? The mushrooms are dried the same day they're harvested in the field. Okay, all right. Yeah. Jim, yeah. Um, our mushroom dryer uses wood heat, which is very, very different. A lot of the wild mushrooms are freeze-dried, right. zapped. This is a, a much better product. You can yeah. almost taste the wood. What are your sales at right now? Well, last year was our first year full-time. Yeah. And what was the dollar revenue? 209000 last year gross. After you paid all the pickers, paid yourselves. Did you make any money in the 209000 Yeah, $60,000. But you didn't pay yourself anything, right? Yeah, we did. We support our family with that. We had to put money back into the business. What do you need the 65000 for? We need some semi-automation. So it's still Eric and I manufacturing all of this stuff. There's a couple pieces of equipment that we know of that is going to help us uh, increase our capacity. What's your biggest worry right now? My biggest worry right now? I don't have any worries as far as the business. I would like to see it bigger than it is. What I need is some great people behind launching this into a brand of different products. People now have access to dried morels. They don't have to go to a fancy restaurant. There's a brand there, and it's the best morels money can buy. And if that wasn't exposed to the world, that would be my fear, I guess. Every answer you've given, I've liked. So good. Isn't yeah. it great to be doing exactly what you love yeah. for a living? For sure. You got it. Yeah. And people recognize that. <laughs> yeah. And we get a, I've got a list of people who want to join my company and yeah. want to come picking. Cool. 
So I'll make you an offer. You know, the thing is, I don't want to take any of your equity because I think the brand is the equity. I'll also endorse your product, and there is merit in that. I've proven myself in the wine business. I put my name on wine, and it's now the number one selling red in Ontario because I love great food. 82% of which he's buying himself. Well, that's <laughs> simply not true, but the bottom line is, I'll give you the $65,000, and I'll take a 10% royalty until I get my money back, and then it drops down to a 3% royalty in perpetuity. But I'll take none of your equity. Keep the company. You really should keep the company. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Is there other, other offers, any? I think you have a great product, and I wish you all the best. And uh, I'm not in it this time. I'm out. Why? I have a feeling that there's going to be a bidding war on this particular <laughs> product. I'm going to make Arlene go first. I always go first, and then she trumps <laughs> me with a better offer. It's yeah. annoying. I'm going to do it to her yeah. this time. I, I love the story. I think I could help you with distribution, I can help you with sales, I can help you with marketing. I'm not gonna sell myself much more than that. I mean, I wanna partner with you. So I'll, I'd give you exactly what you came here for. You asked for what you thought was fair. I'm gonna say, I think it's fair. That's what I'm prepared to do and all the support. Okay, thanks, Erlene. I'm gonna match that offer and I'll help you out. I'll make a lot of calls. I'll call uh, people in the distribution end of things, try to open up some doors. So I'd love to be involved, and I'll give you exactly what you offered as well. Okay. Okay. Thanks, David. Jim? Uh, I'm going to let these guys go with the offer. I, I'm not going to make the offer, so I'm out. You've got three offers. Thanks, Jim. Do you understand the offers? I, we, we understand the offers. Would you two consider going together? Um, as we're, we're thinking about it, would you consider if we, if we gave you more money, more capital, would you give up more equity at the same valuation? Would you consider that? How much? Yeah, we'd consider it. Give us uh, an idea. You know what? We're going to force your hand a bit. And you have to pick between the two of us. Well... We want to thank everybody for their offer, and we respect everybody's offer. But we really want to go with Arlene for the sixty-five thousand for twenty awesome. percent. Awesome, fantastic! I'm really excited about this. I was actually nervous, and you guys are a great couple. Looking forward to you it. Get a hug. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Yeah, I'm not coming to nice pick to my shirt, so I'm not. Yeah. Oh, are you sure? Well, maybe. As long, only if there's no bugs. Eric, no hard feelings. <laughs> Don't take it. <laughs> That'll fit in nicely with your <laughs> That'll uh, fit in other skews. I am so really sick will. of losing deals to you. It's ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect.